So this video is all about a software tool that I've written it and I've written it for people like myself who are really, really interested in what is going on in the whole of the worldwide watch industry, which is why I call it the Watch World Explorer. Now, it is pretty addictive because as soon as you start using it, you realize just how quick and effortlessly you can navigate across all of the information that is out there without using the keyboard, without typing. It is, it is actually pretty good and I'm gonna explain later where you can get access to it. But first, I want to show you the minute repeater that I've been working on. And here is the minute repeater in 18 karat gold that I have been working on. And as you can see, it is a very complicated complication. This is just under the dial. So this is just one side of the movement. And as we move in close here, we can see the different racks. The one on the top there is the minute rack and you've got all the different springs for the strikers there. That's the end of the minute rack coming up to the minute wheel and the hour snail in the center of the picture. But guys, this watch is now all back together. There is a small issue with the case that needs to be sorted out before we can say the job is finished, but let's have a look at how the watch is performing. Application completely serviced and cleaned and with a new and nicely working spring in here. So I'm just going to show you that as best as I can now. Just going to have to move that slightly round there. And so here we go. And that little tiny click that you heard at the end of the process there, that's really, really important because that click is the quarter rack just clicking on on the initiation spring so that uh, we know that the complication is ready to start properly. And as you can hear there, we've also got a really nice tone uh, on the gongs. Okay, so that's just a quick catch up on where I am with the minute repeater because it is such a lovely, lovely watch and a pretty challenging watch to service. But let's focus back on the subject for this video now and let's look at this tool that I've described, which I'm calling the Watch World Explorer. Let's go through to that. And as you can immediately see here, I have put the time everywhere in the world or across the planet at least. So the time here in the UK is coming up to 20 to nine. We've got some stuff from Google Trends at the bottom here and I will mention that in a moment. But the real meat of this particular video today is to look at the power of this thing here. Now it's a really simple idea, but this guys will save you so much time. If you want to get across, you know, or get yourself across what is going on out there in the watch industry across the world, then this simple little explorer here is the way to do it. So let's have a look then. Uh, the proof of the pudding is in the eating, as they say. So here we go. What's the Swatch Group up to? Well, these are the major members of the Swatch Group. So let's have a look at what Jacques Dro uh, up to. This is the Jacques Dro website. If you just click on the name, you go through to their website and... <sighs> <laughs> Jack A throw watches are expensive, right? But oh my god, would you look at that? Um, this is classic Jack A throw. Uh, so they are upbeat with this, and look at that. Oh my days. And okay, so that's what Jack A throw up to. What's what are they pushing on their Instagram though? Is it joined up? Okay, let's have a look at that. And yeah, look. 
you see that you know their PR people are pushing out the same message here this is classic Jacques Edro very very beautiful artistic stuff so last time I was up there in the big smoke in London town, I went to one of the few places that actually stock Jacques Edro and had a good look at their watches. Now my photography is not as good as theirs, but I had a really good look at these two pieces. And guys, you know, Jacques Edro uh, are watches to die for. So anyway, let's get back to the tool. Uh Okay, so back with the Explorer tool now, and we were looking at the Swatch Group, and we'll go back and look at some more stuff in there in a moment, but let's turn our attention quickly to the Richmond Group there, and, you know, we've had a whole host of things uh, going wrong for watch companies at the moment, and if we look at the Group General Information here, you can see immediately um, that you know, <laughs> the share price has been down and is coming up here. In fact, if we just go and look over the last six months, you can see that for the Richmond Group, you know, they had uh, a share price of 78 or 80 uh, point, nearly 81 Swiss francs at one point, which was, you know, just after Christmas. And then we got the whole coronavirus thing and look at this when it really starts to kicking in the start of March and their stock has come down I mean that's nearly that's like 60% of its value there like I say you know this is all open source information but it is just the quickness with which you can get hold of the information you know you can go through this and do the same for the swatch group here see what their stock has been doing and again let's have a look over six months and it's a you know very very similar story in fact their recovery probably is not looking as strong okay let's look at a few more brands so what are Breguet up to let's have a look at the Breguet website here we go and classic Breguet stuff here let's have a look quickly at the Breguet uh, Instagram page. See what they're doing there. And again, really, really nice stuff here from Breguet. This is a particularly nice piece because this is like, I mean, this harks back to the original Breguet watches. You could almost put that you know, in a pocket watch uh, with the machine turn dial there, and that is just absolutely fantastic. About what did Breguet do on Facebook? Let's take a look at that. What are they doing on Facebook at the moment? Okay, so again, similar stuff on Facebook. Again, this is joined up. Very, very nice. In fact, you know, they have basically recreated this old pocket watch as a wristwatch. And, you know, that is just such a lovely thing. Um, and somebody thinks that it is uh, so good they've put a Simon Cowell on there. Um, uh, I hope that didn't offend anybody. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look what uh, Omega are up to at the moment, what Omega putting on their website. And this is particularly smart looking thing planet ocean 600 meters very very nice and again let's have a look at the omega instagram page okay we have different stuff on here so and sunglasses hmm who knew who knew omega sunglasses is that a thing omega eyewear hey guys I called it the Explorer. I, I didn't even know this was a thing. Um, Omega make sunglasses, right? So if you don't lose your watch, you can lose your sunglasses. And what is going on here? This is the America's Cup uh, with some people who aren't socially distanced in here. This looks like high octane stuff. And actually, guys, what a fantastic photograph. I mean, uh, was that photoshopped on after the event? Or did they, you know, that's absolutely fantastic. That is pure Omega 
Great stuff on here. Really, really like this. I think, oh, is this the James, oh, is this the James Bond watch for Die Another Day? Somebody write in the comments. This is a, a very, very attractive looking piece. Anyway, let's move on. That's what Omega are up to. Let's, a, a brand here that, you know, that we've got brands here that are beautiful Swiss brands, Satina, um, and make great, great watches. And they're, they're easily forgotten, but, but because they're on the Explorer, you don't forget them. Look at this big day on the DS1 here. Very, very, very nice. Are you noticing I'm not having to do any typing with this? This is just pure, simple. You just sit back and say, what are Longines up to? So guys, that is about the size of it. I wrote this tool so that it would be really, really helpful for anyone who wanted to just quickly access the information that's out there without having to you know, do loads of typing in the browser. So I commend the tool to you. Now it's not free. If you want to access it, you do have to be a member of my website, which also has a lot of other benefits. But if you just go to the website that I'm showing you now and click on premium content there, it'll take you through to a page. You see the little brown button, click on subscribe as member. And yeah, it costs £2.65 a month. As I say, it's a cup of coffee. So I commend that to you guys. And on the website there, as soon as you remember, you get access to all of my premium content as well. So I'm starting to make some very, you know, in-depth videos on horology subjects and also some articles. Now, you know, if you pay the £2.65, then you get access to the tool and you get access to all of that stuff as well. So I commend that to you guys. Uh, that's kind of it for this video. Uh, we did look at the minute repeater and as I say, it's just a a little aspect on the case that I've got to sort out there, but you know, that beautiful, beautiful historic watch is now pretty much finished. So I'm gonna be doing a video on that very shortly, which is actually quite interesting and exciting because we, we had a little bit of drama with, with that particular historic watch. Watch this space. Guys, that is it for this video. If you like my videos, then please, you know, subscribe and hit the like. I know some of you guys are out there uh, watching my videos a lot and you're not subscribed and um, I'm watching you. So <laughs> please, please subscribe, hit the bell icon, give it a like, share the video amongst your friends if you think this, if they, if they like this tool. And that's it guys, from here, on the southwest coast of Wales in a little port town called Pembroke Dock. That is all I've got for you. So good night and God bless.